What's up, Fire family? Happy Monday. It is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do a collective reading. This is going to be a general reading. It is a collective reading. It is for all the other signs. So God, please do only take a resonance with you and never force the message. And I'm going to start out with a self-care oracle message and then we'll hop into the reading. All right, guys, let's see. Spirit, please guide me to this reading of the collective. What do they need to know here at this time? All right, let me see. I'm going to pull a couple self-care messages just to kind of see where you guys are at. As far as like your energy, what you guys need to work on. All right, let's see. You know, tomorrow is a Valentine's Day. All right, so I mean, I definitely feel like you guys are needing to take care of you. Okay, definitely get some rest. It says sleep and rest. Let your body have the peace it deserves without feeling guilty. So some of you guys need to rest. Some of you guys need to tell somebody no. Okay, like no, I'm not dropping you off. I'm not picking you up. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing that. It can even be down to like the kids. You guys need to tell somebody like no. Or tell your kids no. All right. Um, your sleep comes first. Like even if you're not sleep, like rest. Your body needs some rest, guys. Okay. Um, and then we have shop smart, spend money on experiences, not just things. Make memories. So for some of you guys, it's best to like save your money. You know, if anything, book a vacation, make memories, do something that's gonna like spend your money on something that's gonna be worth it. Like, I mean, I know clothes and shoes and bags and stuff. We all want that stuff, you know. But it's saying, like, with this, you guys need to make memories. Maybe you guys already got all that. You got enough shoes, bags, clothes. You know, you're living nice. And maybe it's just, like, instead of spending money on nonsense, you know, going out to eat every day or, you know, just buying, oh, that looks cute. You know what I'm saying? Like, start saving your money and shopping smart, all right? For some of you guys, it's time to vacation. It's time to make memories. And then we have home needs TLC, okay? So give your home some attention, redecorate, clean it, or sage it. For some of you guys, I'm getting all of the above, all right? You guys need to decorate, clean, and sage. This person has their cleaning products. We definitely did some cleaning over the weekend. So, yes, guys, definitely clean, all right? Um, it's about to be spring very soon, so you know, do your spring cleaning early. All right, at the bottom of the deck, I love this for the overall energy. Fuck being nice, okay? Stop being so nice, y'all. Be nice, but not too nice. Not everyone deserves your kindness, okay? So, fuck being nice, collective, okay? Tell people no. All right, get your rest. Book some trips. Book flights. Catch flights. What's, what's the saying? Catch flights, not feelings. Okay, and take care of home. Some of you guys are starting a new hobby or need to. I see candles here, crystals. I see scissors. Maybe some of you guys are doing a vision board. Maybe some of you guys are getting into making candles. You guys can be doing spiritual work with the crystals. Whatever you're doing, it's saying like dream big at this time. Because whatever your hobby is, it can turn into like your business. It can turn into something big. It can take off. All right. So let's see what's going on, guys. Let's see. All right, let's see what your person is not telling you guys. What does it feel like this person not telling them? Spirit universe, messages for the collection. What is your person not telling them? Universe and spirit, messages for the collective. What is your person not telling them? Spirit, please be honest, direct, and blunt if possible because we need the motherfucking truth. Okay. All right, let's see. A couple more shuffles. All right. What is the collective's person not telling them? Spirit, give me three to four messages for the collective and what they need to know in here. Three to four messages for the collective. What they need to know in here. Damn, y'all know I'll take guys from the ground. Okay, let's see. Sneaky behavior. Guys, that they are complaining about you to others. Oh, wow. So they are complaining about you to others. This person has a cigarette in their mouth. So maybe somebody is just, like, tired. Like, maybe, I don't know what's going on. Maybe, we'll see. Maybe you guys are getting into it or something like that. 
but they are starting to complain about you to others. All right, let's see. Uh-oh, we got the cheating card. Physical cheating. They are sexually involved with somebody else. We have cheating. The wounded. They cheat to fill an emotional void or play the victim role. So we have two cheating cards and sneaky behavior. So it's definitely confirmed that somebody is cheating. All right, let's see. Lies, lies, lies. All right, so we have cover. They wear a mask and pretend to be something they are not. All right, so damn, your person has a lot going on. We have the intuition card. So your intuition is trying to tell you something. But I feel like you're not... You're um, ignoring something. Alright, so your person just got too much shit going on to you. I mean, going on with you guys. I mean, they got too much shit going on. I'm sorry. <laughs> So we have sneaky behavior, cheating, cheating lies. So let's get to the bottom of this because this is crazy. All right. Yeah, collective. I don't even know what to say about this. Mm -hmm. I wonder why this person is like feeling wounded. Because we have the wounded. They cheat to fill an emotional void or play the victim role. So, are you guys, like, going through something and they just feel, like, wounded, hurt? I don't know. We're about to see. Mm -hmm. Let me use this And it looks like whoever they're sexually involved with, that's who they are complaining to about you. I mean, complaining about you too. Messages for the collective. Messages for the collective. Let's see what's going on. Alright, let me see. Yeah, they are running their mouth. They are saying something. Yeah, it looks like they are giving it to somebody. Yeah, they are coming up as a wound, like wounded, tired, fed up. Somebody is fed up. This could be you guys cheating too. You know, it goes both ways. So maybe this is you. Alright, let's see. See, messages for the collective. You're the Knight of Cups. The Six of Cups reverse. The Judgment reverse. Yeah, for sure. That definitely confirms the first card. So there is somebody new in their energy. It does feel like and look like they are complaining. You know, talking shit. It does seem like they like this person that they're around. Because it's new. It's not somebody that they want to be with, but it just, whoever this is, I fight they make them feel good with the lovers right here, okay? So, with the lovers being here, I fight this person just, they like their company, their energy, you know, it feels, it's new. Um, I do see where this person is fed up. These were the cards that we had that fell out. They came back out, so they were definitely meant to come back out. Um, let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. We have the Six of Swords. So this may be somebody that they go to, travel, see. They may not see them often with the Knight of Pentacles here. Okay. Um, I don't see them interested in starting a new beginning with this person. No. I feel like they're just kind of like not sure about you guys. They want to give up, but they don't. Three of Cups are in reverse. Queen of Pentacles are in reverse. King of Cups are in reverse. Yeah, but I see you guys as like both kind of fed up with each other. Because the Queen of Pentacles are reversed, like she can be mean, evil, nasty. You know, she comes off like she can intimidate people. You know, she's hard to get along with. Um, it's just like an unstable energy. She's not, she's going to stop cleaning, cooking, stuff like that. Not saying you guys are being a little trifling, no. But, you know, if they're used to coming home to a home cooked meal, you're just like, mm, I'm not cooking. You know, figure it out. You know, like you're not being a nurturing, loving type, giving in. You know, stuff like that. The stuff that you would normally do, okay? And then we have the King of Cups reverse them coming up as unavailable, detached, you know? So, if you ask me, you guys both look, um, I said look, you guys both seem fed up with each other, but I feel like they're just, 
you know they took it to another level okay and then we got the ace of cups in reverse we have the emperor this is somebody that wants to stay around but i just feel like lately ace of cups in reverse like there's definitely a disconnect here you guys may have not been like showing or expressing love to each other some of you guys um the sex has definitely changed but like the emperor is here telling me that they're here to stay the emperor's on the seat at the chair so this is somebody that doesn't want to go but they kind of feel like the relationship is over but you guys have invested and put so much time into each other um yeah because look we have the knight of swords and we have the empress there could be some negative energy being sent towards you guys or somebody that is like mm, trying to cause problems or issues in between you guys could be an ex or something like that the reason why i said that is because of the knight of swords seven of pentacles we got this knight i mean sorry the king of swords reverse the higher point reverse a oh, wild wow, temperance reverse there could be somebody causing a separation or trying to come in between you guys trying to get you guys to fall out lash I mean, I said lash, clash, lash out at each other, okay? I feel like something's going to backfire. Somebody keeps doing something with the higher part of verse. Hmm. Somebody's trying to get somebody to walk away. Mm-hmm. There definitely could be some dark energy being sent towards this relationship okay so yeah don't like it because it looks like somebody keeps doing something like they're sending some type of energy towards you where you and your partner like get into it you clash you're fed up you're annoyed one minute you want them one minute you don't it's like you guys are both feeling like that towards each other and whoever is doing it it's like they keep doing it and then it's like you guys will get into it maybe have a big falling out you guys will get back together things will be fine and then it's like it just keeps repeating so they they keep doing it they they're gonna they they're i'm not gonna say they're gonna keep doing it i didn't look that far but i feel like they've been doing it for some time now for at least the last year or so or they just they're doing it back to back to back because they want to see an ending here they don't want to see you guys together they want to see an ending and i don't feel like it's the person that they're sleeping with i like whoever this is it's an ex or somebody at a distance as soon as i cut the deck knight of swords pop, pop, look, pop back up yeah something is going to backfire i do see you guys still moving forward but somebody is definitely trying to come in between what you guys got going on for sure but it's like your person doing what they're doing it doesn't make it look any better because now they're doing what they're doing and um i feel like that may really you know come in between you guys that may really that could be a break for you guys like you know at first you guys are trying to make it now this may just be it so going to the knight of cups for the collective why is the knight of cups here why is the knight of cups here you have the knight of wands knight of cups so somebody is you know taking the time to go see somebody there is passion here there is sexual energy that's definitely like liking somebody see the knight yeah oh the knight of wands knight of swords definitely they about to, somebody got some ass okay somebody did something okay yeah the lovers yeah somebody did something okay um yeah and they're like okay you can be my little secret we can just mess around or um of course they're keeping it secret all right so let's see why the knight of wands is here going to this knight of wands with this knight of cups we have the four of cups yeah so your person can be feeling rejected by you. Your person can be kind of feeling lonely in the relationship, kind of bored. So that can be another reason why. Like I said, some of you guys could be rejecting your person. Go to the six of cups. Damn. Sorry, y'all. I don't take cards from the ground. So let's see. Um. So the six of cups are in first. Let's see what this is about. Because I feel like somebody is going to learn a lesson here. Or there's a lesson to be learned here with Judgment in Reverse. Let me see. Queen of Swords here. Mm. Hmm. Now, for some of you guys, they did this for attention. But they did tell somebody... It looks as if they told somebody they have feelings. Or 
are they coming off as like super nice and stuff to this person? Hmm. You want to the judgment in reverse? Oh my goodness, y'all. I might have to get those. Yeah. Give me one second, collector. All right, guys. I'm back. I'm sorry. I feel so bad because y'all know I do not pick up cards from the motherfucking ground. Y'all know I have it. Y'all know I don't. That's just how I read. But it was so many cards that fell. So when like way too many fall like that, I just feel like I have to get them. Or I feel guided to get them. But let's hop back into this reading. Let's see why this King of Cups is here. Hmm. Why is the king of cups here? Okay. Yeah, see? And that's why I said there's a lesson to be learned because we have the five of swords in reverse. We have the king of cups here. But what I'm getting is like... What, whatever they did, somebody was thinking of... Okay, how can I... Okay. At the time, it felt good and it felt right. But the lesson in it is like... You know what? I'm going to give you guys a perfect example. So, one of my subscribers, they're like family to me now. They bought me this book, right? And he's like, when he sent it to me, I was like, oh my goodness. I was like, thank you. So, to the, it's like every day there's a passage in it, right? So, the book is called The Daily uh, Stoic. See, look. This is what it's called. I'm part so, there's a, um, every day there's a passage and you have to read it, right? So, it's interesting how I just, I read it this morning. I read it every morning, okay? Um, and it says, for today's passage, I'm not going to read the whole thing, but the passage says, pleasure can become punishment. Whenever you get an impression of some pleasure, as with any impression, guard yourself from being carried away by it. Let it await your action. Give yourself a pause. After that, bring to mind both times. First, when you have enjoyed the pleasure, and later when you will regret it and hate yourself. Then compared to those, the joy and satisfaction you'll feel for abstaining altogether. However, if a seemingly appropriate time arises to act on it, don't be overcome by its comfort. It says a lot more, but I was just going to stop there. Because if I, it says a lot more, and then I feel like if I keep reading, I'm going to have to read the whole passage. But this is like the past. This is like every day, like I said, it has a different passage every day. Really good book, right? So the reason why I wanted to share that is because that's the energy that I'm getting right here. Pleasure is, is going to be a punishment or it's going to lead to guilt. Because somebody is in the moment right now. They feel good about it right now. They're enjoying it right now. But they're going to be so mad and hate themselves after they do it. Like, they're going to even probably feel disgusted or be, feel terrible after doing it, whoever this is. And this is another good book that I do every day. I fill it out. It's called The One Question a Day for Self-Care. It's a three-year journal. So, like, every day you, like, write something in there. See? You just put the year and you answer the question. It's super cute. Um, I think I got that from Books A Million. Um, but, yeah, so that's what I'm feeling right now. And I feel as if somebody needs to choose their battles, meaning, like, they can avoid this or they could have avoided this or i feel as if they did it and it's like they're like fuck, like they regret it because look we have the seven of wands we have the king of wands we have the king of swords they were caught in a moment they acted on something too quickly didn't take the time to think about it and process it with the queen of swords you know even though the queen of swords it's still air energy. Yeah, I get it. But the queen of swords is going to apply logic because they're going to think things through. That's why they're the king and the queen. The king and the queen usually would do that. So if it came down to it and somebody was throwing themselves at them, a king or a queen is going to be like, no, like I have a lot more respect for myself. I'm not going to do that. I'm also thinking about my person, blah, blah, blah. Okay? Not all kings and queens though. But I'm just saying, that's how it's supposed to be. So that's why there's a knight here and a king. Because they were thinking of the left side of their brain, not the right side. Okay? So, the left side would be all the sneakiness, the deception, and all that type of stuff. They are they may get away with it. I feel like for a lot of you guys, they are. Because I, I feel like it's something that's going to happen. And they're going to regret it. They're going to feel nasty. They're going to feel disgusted. And you may not know. I feel like you may not know. 
or may not find out going to judgment of me first some of you guys may know but i feel like it's just there's like i said you guys are both fed up and yeah you guys are both fed up and they're complaining and lying and cheating and now they feel disgusted and buried in guilt let's see why the judgment card is in reverse yep see look paid of swords in reverse they are they're going to be mad at them so i like, am like that was not a smart move like why did i do that they're gonna feel like the other person influenced them to do it or they're gonna be like dang why did i do that you know or it could be like you know other people probably cheat or people you know it's 23 so you know how people talk and cheat and say shit or they probably was like well damn like, i just was caught in the moment i don't know but whoever this is that's what that's what's going on right here okay but i'm getting a really heavy energy here no, why I really feel like somebody is trying to hate and come up between you guys. Go into the star reverse. What is this about? Why is the star reverse? Why is the star reverse? Because this is this could be the praise, but this could be you are your person losing hope, faith, trust. Somebody is hurt, wounded, needing to heal. Somebody feels like they may never be able to heal or you know move on or recover from this. Let's see, why is the star reverse? The ace of swords. Yeah, see, after somebody gains mental clarity, somebody's gonna be like, Why did I do this? So now somebody is coming up with a way or trying to come up with a way to, you know, try to make things right without you realizing that they're trying to make things right. Because this person feels bad. So this person, may, they're, I'm not going to say small talk, but it's kind of like, say if you guys are both fed up with each other and then this person is like, okay, so we know tomorrow is like Valentine's Day. Oh, well, do you say you want to get your lashes done? Or let's go eat. Let's do this. They're going to try to offer you something. It doesn't have to be because tomorrow's is Valentine's Day. I'm just saying in general. They're going to try to offer you something or start conversation or something or communicate with you in some type of way because they feel bad. They, they're, they are like, they're just devastated. They feel lost. They feel hopeless. They feel like they lost you because of what they did. So they're kind of like disgusted about what they did. All right. Let's see. I have to pay the pentacles here. Yep. See the devil. Mm-hmm. They all because of temptation. All because of temptation. But I don't like the, the fact that the devil is here. Let me see. Going to the lovers. The nine of cups. See, I feel like somebody is jealous. I told you, somebody from the past. It could be somebody you have kids with, they have kids with. Yes, yeah, somebody is upset. I'm telling you guys. Mm, 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 mm. Let me see something. What the fuck did I tell y'all? Witchcraft. Someone is casting spells to control a situation. Sneaky behavior. And I said it has something to do with the past. Spying. They are snooping. Hoping to get more information on you. Yep. Look. Lies, lies, lies. To impress. Mm. So I feel like your person their path their ex or whatever knows stuff about your person but i feel like your person has changed in a way maybe they are coming off as if they're trying to impress you or there's something about their past that they're lying about that i feel like this ex knows okay but i don't even care about that part what caught my eye was the witchcraft because i just said right before that and you guys know i put see i should have just kept going remember when i was saying that instead of me putting up deck down i should have looked at the top all right. Yes. Yeah, so see, that's what I'm saying. There is some type of witchcraft and it has to do with the past or something. Let's go into this witchcraft card. Why is this witchcraft card here? Because it wouldn't be you guys. You know, I mean, unless you guys are doing like an honest spell, communication spell or something like that. But I mean, it says to control somebody. All right. So let's see why I sneaky behavior here. And then I've seen the Ten of Wands. I've seen something like somebody being drained or wore out. But hopefully it's going to backfire. Why is the... Um, Yep, see the strength card if they're trying to have control over someone. Yeah, so somebody is very strong, not very strong, but like what they're doing, like I just say it's potent. Like they got a lot of control or they have control over your person, you, the situation, whatever they got going on. Somebody could have paid a lot of money to with the Ace of Pentacles or they just got a strong hold on your person, you know, when it comes to like whatever they're doing or whoever did it for them. 
and it's just fucking things up between you guys and i feel like the real reason is because they don't want this commitment or relationship to move any further they don't want to see you guys together there could be some jealousy they want to see this they want to see your person cheat lie and do everything wrong to you because i feel like that's what that person did to them so they want to see it happen again to somebody else we have the hangman refer in reverse yeah whoever this person is they're crazy i'll just say that only reason i said that is because they don't see it no other way they don't see it from another point of view okay and i feel like this person is just like i just feel like they're sneaky they're deceptive i feel like this person is like controlling they, they only see things from their perspective and they didn't like the way things ended or the way things um or what happened between them and that it's like they're kind of like wanting this to um like you know unfold on you like meaning like whatever they went through with this person they wanted to happen between you guys yep see we have the hermit in reverse this person is just they're lonely they have no new man or no new woman no new woman people are telling them not to do it people are telling them it's not worth it this person is not spiritually involved he's spiritually evolved they think they are okay or this person didn't get into spill work or get into this type of work and are messed around or fooled around with it or listen to stuff and two your person got with you or maybe they know like you do work or something like that i don't know but it's like people around them are even telling them like it's not even worth it and they're still doing it anyway let's see what is the um why is the page of cups here? King of Swords in reverse. Yeah, see? And I feel like you guys haven't really been talking to each other. Or you guys have. But the King of Swords with the page of cups is somebody that's talking shit. You know, they're like... The reason why I say that is because how I look at it is like... They're coming off as like... How they're like being sweet like oh, like in the car. Like they're being sweet to this person but then like complaining about you. Or you know how like people are... Or, I wouldn't say people, but if you met a guy and they got with somebody, they're like, oh, baby, you're nothing like her. All right, I'm sorry, guys. It was, my phone was about to actually die. Um. So, yeah, so, like I was saying, I think the last thing I was saying here was um, the King of Swords reverse with the Page of Cups. Yeah, that would be somebody just talking, talking junk, you know, like when it comes to you, they're saying like negative or harsh things and... You know, they're telling this person, like, oh, you're nothing like her. Because, you know, remember, they're complaining. They're trying to get this person to believe them. Or they're trying to convince this person otherwise. Well, let's see. Or convince this person. I feel like you Yeah, see the page of wands. There's, look, first impression means everything. Or it's just like the things that they say, it makes everything. Because that's how they're going to move forward. That's how things are going to, you know, continue to move forward with this person. So, they got to come off as if, like, you know, the good person. Like, oh, it's all you. It's not them. Especially if they want to mess around. Now, I don't know why, but... Somebody's doing better with you. I just keep in this ex situation. Hmm. Well, I'm just taking one. The nine of wands, yeah, see? And we have a queen of wands, so of course. They got to seem like they're wounded, they're hurt, they're tired. Like, you know, they got to just make it seem like the relationship is not working out. So this other person could get into them. But if, like, to me, they're doing all of this, and then they're going to feel bad. They're going to feel guilty. They're going to feel disgusted. So, mm -hmm. I, maybe is it worth all of it? I don't know. Why is it ten of wands here? This is crazy. Why the ten of wands here? The knight of pentacles. Two of pentacles. They're going to feel bad about this for so long. Whoever this is. And they're going to feel like, dang, I should have just worked on the relationship. You know, that's what I should have did. You know, they should have stuck to the plan and just, and just ignore this person. Because whoever they're with is whoever they're going to mess around with. It looks like a one-time thing. It could happen a couple times, but... I feel like it's nobody they really want to be with. And they really want this relationship. And the bad part is like, as soon as you guys like move in, or there's some type of good news, or you guys post something or do something, this person may reach out. And I feel like that's that's when you may find out. Or they're going to say something. They might say something like, I didn't know you were, I thought you were single or something like that. Even though you may be on their page and everything, or vice versa. But let's see, why is the page of wands here? The Nine of Swords. Yep. 
they're haunted by what happened. And they're trying to like ignore it and think positive and you know, think about you guys coming back together, but it's just like in their subconscious mind, it keeps fucking with them. Mm -hmm. It's like when you guys are all together, celebrating, having fun, drinking, enjoying each other, they're thinking about what they did. Yep, five of cups. Good. 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 So hopefully this teaches they ask a lesson. And the reason I said good so many times is because sometimes I feel like people don't think about stuff like that until it happens. And then it's like they put themselves in a bad situation. And then, like, they may lose someone good or, you know, like, just mess up a situation altogether. I'm seeing it for both sides. The collect I mean, both sides collective. You are your person. Like, sometimes we got to think about stuff like that. We got to ask ourselves, is it really worth it? And then it's like, it'd it be bad when they cheat and it'd be like a downgrade. I remember my mom always told me, like, she's like, Ash, if you ever cheat or, you know, fuck up in your relationship or do something crazy, she was like, cheat up, don't ever cheat down. She was like, because then you really look like a fool. You know, so it's like, she just, cheating up is like being with somebody way, way, way better than the person you're with. But to go cheat with a hood rat or somebody that's just bending their ass over or somebody on TikTok, Instagram, face, it don't even be worth it. It's just like, especially when you got like a 10, you know what I'm saying? Somebody that's everything you want, okay? So, y'all not getting along. So, you're complaining. But that doesn't mean you got to pull your dick out and fuck somebody. That's just my opinion. But, I'm just fire intuition. Just saying. So, people don't think about all of that. So, let's see. Five of the six of pentacles here. King of pentacles. Yeah, somebody is going to get their money up. Or somebody's trying to get their money together. Somebody wants to provide and give more. Somebody who wants to like really boss up and prove themselves to you. They also feel like their finances could be an issue or maybe one of you guys make more than the other person. Yeah. Moving from turmoil, yeah. So this person is just ready to come out of a complicated or difficult situation. But I'm telling you, there's something to do with this witchcraft here. Yeah, something is going to transform or change in our life. I'm trying to see where this, this witchcraft is coming from. Is the witchcraft being put on you or your person? Is it being put on you or your person? It's being put on your person. What it's doing is it's making them, like, it's, it's, it's drawing a wedge between you guys. And it's making you guys feel disconnected. Or just making you feel like you don't know if you want this. It's making your person, like detached they're being very manipulative lately or like emotionally withdrawn okay but when i asked was it um your person i got the queen of pentacles in reverse and the three of cups so your person and their friends i mean their ex or whoever this is and their little friends are all getting together kicking and chi chi and he ha 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 and doing witchcraft and coming up with shit and reading shit you know i don't know why this reminds me of like the craft remember that movie but I'm not saying they're that powerful, no. But it's like, I feel like they're beginners, okay? Because the Three of Cups is in reverse. They're beginners. But the Queen of Pentacles in reverse is somebody that's really into, like, divination, voodoo, tarot, stuff like that. Or, like I said, this is a beginner. Because we have the Three of Cups in reverse. So some stuff is working, some stuff is not. But whatever they're doing, it is definitely affecting this relationship, okay? I know some of you guys don't believe in that, but trust me. It happens, okay? And I feel like they're doing their little thing and they're trying to just complicate and mess up things between you guys, okay? Now, this will be a friend that they know. So, if this is like their ex, like their baby mom or something like that, that that's their baby mom and their baby mom's little friends, you know? Um, why is it three of cups in reverse? Yep, see, look, told you. Seven of swords, so yep. Hmm. And I feel like one of the friends or somebody around them is like tired of being played or cheating on, cheated on or something like that. Or they were trying to get information or do something to their person. And I feel like they just all kind of got together. But yeah, it's, it's being put on your person. And like I said, again, it's to make you guys depressed. So coming between you guys could be a Leo or you guys can be a Leo. We have the emperor here, five of swords. Yeah, they just want to start arguments, fights. Now, the baby mom or the baby dad, somebody, um, whoever's ex is, somebody could be a bully. 
Like, I'm not even trying to be funny. When I say this, I be mean. But it's like, they're if it's like their baby mom, they're very masculine and they can be like a big girl. Like, hmm. Like, I don't know. Because, I mean, I love all sizes. I'm, I don't, y'all know I don't judge. But it's like, whoever this is, like, just put it this way. If you see, like, you must be the cute the cute one that like got the body or whatever and it's like even if you're not even if you're big or whatever, it's like the other person is just like manly and like big like kind of like i'm not getting like respusha vibes but probably like right like just big you know like just like i feel like you guys be like oh i can't believe they hit that i can't believe they had babies by her or by him, or he had babies with her or whatever you know what i'm saying like whoever this is they're like a bully this is like a bully the Emperor and the Five of Swords. This is like a bully. And this is somebody that's depressed. Okay? Um, and they go through depression. They even might be mean to the kids. They might even have the kids against your person. They might even be talking shit like, oh, fuck it out. You know what I'm saying? The kids might even be disrespectful. Because there's people around them, okay, that they're bullying, being mean to, aggressive, or they're scared of them. That's why they got to smirk. Like, oh, y'all come to feel fuck like I said. Like, this is somebody that is just mean. And if they're not... If they're not big, then it's like their energy is big. Like meaning like they, they can be small, but their energy affects everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like this is somebody that you, that it, they're just, it's not cute. You know what I'm saying? They feel like they have all the power and the control. But this is really a sad, fucked up, depressed ass individual who has no life. And now it's like, it's like if they really sat down and saw how they were and how they showed up in people's lives, then they'll see why they don't got no man, why the relationship didn't last, or no woman. Or why things are just fucked up for them. But they are... This is like a bully. Um, or like somebody very manly and very aggressive. Somebody that likes to talk shit. There's never nothing nice coming out their mouth. Never. This person never has nothing nice to say. Even if your person's being nice to them, they're going to find something mean to say. They're just negative. Whoever this person is. And that's because they're still attached to your person. The sun is in reverse. They may even have your person convinced that a child is theirs. That's not. But that's because, yes, what did I tell you? They're also mad because they're also mad because your person is giving you something that they never gave them. Even though they had all this going on. Yes. Still. They're still connected to your person. Not saying your person is connected to them. They just still want your person. But your person is giving them something that they um they never gave them. And that can be like the commitment, all that type of stuff. Now with the sneaky, I mean not complaining, cheating physically. Let's go on into this. Let's go into this. Because we know physically cheating, it says they sexually they were sexually involved with each other. Mm, I don't know. They probably got hit all across the bed, but they could have also stuck me in, but who knows? Let's see, why is cheating here? The uh physical cheating, they are sexually involved with somebody else. I also like a lot of TM, they stuck it in, but we're gonna see. Look, they did. The devil's here. Yep, they did. Mm-hmm. <sighs> they did, y'all. It could have been after school, after work, while you were working, while you guys are busy. But yeah, they did something with this person. That's how the moon is here. It could have happened at night, too. This person could have randomly left or left for a while and it happened. Carter, no. Uh, get something else. You want You want me to make you something for lunch? I just made you breakfast. You want lunch too? Okay. Give mom a second. All right, yeah. Sorry, y'all. Uh, Carter's home from school today. So, yes. Um, Carter threw me off. What was I saying, y'all? I forgot. Oh, yeah. No, that's how, that's how the moon is there with the five of cups. Look. So, they feel terrible for what they did. But it happened. You know? Not saying you know like it's cool. No. Mm -mm. But I'm just saying. That's what's up. But whoever this ex or this person is, they need to get a lie. People be 
He really on your mad. You'll be out here really mad. And I'm doing crazy stuff. And y'all know I like to share stories, right? So I had a friend like that. We were friends. Um, this was like years ago. Um, mm. So long story short, this person that I'm talking about, um, she was upset that her ex had moved on and they had had a child and so she became like super petty like wouldn't let them see the child like was like this being nasty with like child support and like all this other type of stuff and like when the um weekends came when, you know the dad was supposed to get the baby like sometimes she would like make up excuses just to make her mad because like he'll like oh i got something planned i want to do this and that with him and like she'll do stuff on purpose like not let him go but oh well my mom's getting him instead knowing that he maybe just said like oh like i'm going to this i'm taking so and so to the zoo so she'll do stuff like that or when he used to pick her up pick up the baby not pick her up pick up the baby she will take the baby, like, you know, let him go with, like, no clothes. Like, the baby will be dressed. But, like, in the bag, it might be, like, a cup and a diaper and a wipe. So, she wouldn't, like, have nothing in the bag. I would, just me, personally, I would never do that. I know a lot of people that do that or people that have done that. And to me, I just feel like it's stupid because I just feel like, never mind, I'm not about to go into that. But, um, so, anyways, she did that or whatever. And so, one day we were talking and we were like having drinks and stuff and we were at like this little Mexican restaurant we had our fajitas and stuff and I just sat down and I had got real real with her and I had just told her how I felt and I was like girl I was like I think the stuff you're doing is like I was like it's petty it's childish I was like and you need to grow the fuck up I was like because you have a somebody that's involved that actually wants to be in their child's life I was like and when he buys them certain stuff you're just like oh that's ugly I don't want it or you go blast them on social media or you say stuff or if he says that oh I want to take them to the zoo or you like Oh, now you want to take him to the zoo? He's eight months. How, he don't. He can't see an animal. Why do you want to take him to the zoo? Like she was just so bitter, so hurt. Like she was like a bitch for real. And I used to tell her about herself. And so it got to the point where it kind of like pushed me away from like not even wanting to be her friend. You know, because I used to just be like, dang, like if you can be like this cold and wrong, you know, to him. Like I wonder how you would treat me or just like in general. Like who who are you? Like like what type of person are you really? You know? And it just made me like feel some type of way towards her. So one day, like I said, we was like having drinks and stuff. And I told her, I was like, you know what? I was like, you, I was like, um, I was like, tell the truth. I was like, you're still in love with him. And she's like, I am. And she was like, I'm just hurt because I can't believe this. And I said, watch, you're going to really push him away into the arms of somebody else. And I said, I was like, in situations like this, I said, that's when they move on and actually get a wife and have more kids. Or, you know, I said, this, I was like, your son is going to grow up and see how you are and not going to want to fuck with you because you kept his dad away from him. You know, blah, 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 blah. So anyway, y'all, um, so what happened with my friend was not even like a year or so later. I wasn't even into tarot yet. So I was just, we were just talking. A year or so later, he's engaged. Then like two years later, he's married. Now he just started a new family. And she actually had reached out to me about maybe five or six months ago. And I was asking her about her son and stuff. And guess where her son was at? At his daddy's house. And she told me that um, she's like, he loves going over there. He's with him most. And, you know, she's like, it kind of changed. She was like, um, I just let him go see him. But, like, she's still single. She still sounds sad. She still sounds depressed. She still sounded angry. She still, you know, like, I can tell a little bit has changed. But, like, when she updated me on everything that was going on in his life, you know, like, it's like you can just tell in her voice. Like, there was just so much hurt and pain. And I'm just like, your son's like 12, 13 now. And you still holding on to the same energy, same person, same situation. And he moved on with his life, had three more kids, and got married. And now the son is over there all the time. So, I mean, I only to share that to, you know, say like with this situation, I told you whoever was like being mean and just, you know, pushing other person away or, you know, even like trying to like brainwash the kids and all that stuff. That shit backfires. You know, collective. And if y'all are doing it, I hope it, that message, it, it got to you guys because that shit backfires. It does. Or it just like, you don't end up winning in the end. It affects the child the most. And I feel like people don't realize that. But when we're caught up in our feelings or when we're with somebody and they didn't did us wrong or hurt us, we feel some type of way. And we got to take our feelings out of it and make it about the child 
and that's the end of 100. Because if not, we will never co-parent, never get along. You know what I'm saying? So we don't ever want to take that away from our kids. I always tell my kids that they don't have a relationship with their dad. It's because their dad has gave them a reason to not want them to have a relationship with him. It would never be on my end. And I feel like that's what we need to do in the collective and as women and as fathers, you know, um, and not be, try not to be so hurt and be so upset. That's why I feel like people should go to counsel and therapy, talk to somebody, be honest and real with your feelings and how someone is making you feel, you know, because like I said, at the end of the day, you end up hurting the child and whoever this is, they're hurting like more than one child. They're hurting like they're, like they're just. How they are, it's affecting the child. And I just feel like one of the kids or the children are going to end up being like them. And it's going to be a repeated pattern. And they're just probably never going to have that relationship with their father or their mother because of how nasty the person is. And then on top of that, they're going witchcraft to you guys. You know, it also could even be the lifestyles and stuff is better because if they're coming up as a king of pentacles over here, it's like, that's why I said maybe they're able to give you something they were never able to give them. And they're jealous and they're mad. And it's just like, I wouldn't even want that. Like, if my kids' dad got married and they was with somebody and they changed their life and made more money or that person, I would be like, that's a blessing to my kids because I'm like, my kids get more when they're with him and his new person. Like, that's how I would feel. I'm like, okay, we got another parent, somebody else that can help out and step in. That's how I look at it. So, like, I don't know. Everybody's different, though. I mean, I'm always going to be mom and their dad is always going to be dad. But, you know what I'm saying? I don't mind if they had a stepmom. They got a stepdad. So, I wouldn't mind it, you know? I don't know. That's just me. Oh, damn. So let's get a, a love blockage here. Sorry. We have not my type. Be open to different types of people because you may be surprised to you find. So, yeah, I feel like for some of you guys, this person may have not been your type or maybe you didn't see the potential at first. And I feel like it ended up working out and you guys, you know, took things to the next level. So I feel like you are going to be hurt. You're going to feel like I'm a cold. You're going to just feel like you don't know what to do because it's like you gave this person a chance and this person let you down. Okay, but I feel like for some of you guys, you got in a space where you weren't dealing with certain kind of shit and this person maybe didn't come off like that at first because you have the Ace of Pentacles and now they're letting you down or it's like you feel like you're with an ex or something. Like you just feel like you're in a situation that you've been in or experienced before. Let's get one more blockage. Okay, damn, a lot came out. So we have fear of loss. So they fear of losing you. Okay, this person was, are you guys was feeling unloved? So it's the same, like this person, if they feel in love, they should come to you for support or emotional fulfillment. And I don't think like that person was. No, they weren't. The Ace of Cups is here. So they try to fill that void somewhere else. But their heart is really with you guys. They're this. I feel like that's just something of the past or something they used to do. And I feel like they fucked themselves over with that. You are afraid to make a mistake so you don't commit either way. Indecision. Let me see. No, I feel like this is a lesson for them. Yep, see? Because I feel like maybe in the past they were afraid to commit when it came to certain things. But with you, they committed in a way that they never committed before. But they still made that decision to step outside the relationship. And that's why it's haunting them. Yep. And they're trying to move past it. But it's hard. And they fear losing you. Yep. They fear you're, yep, they fear you're not going to give them another chance. It, this is difficult. It's hard for them to get over this. They're heartbroken and torn over what they've done to you or how they messed around on you or just the fact of being with this other person. So, what a reading. I love you guys. If it resonated, please do like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. And if you guys love to book, fireintuition.com. All right? Stay dope. And I'll see you guys um, not tomorrow. I got a day planned. Um, Wednesday. I'll see you guys this week. I'm not sure when I'm going to do the Zodiac readings. Um, so Aries Deal Sag, don't look for your reading to be uploaded today because my schedule is like super busy this week. So I will have Zodiac readings up this week. It's just, it's going to be a couple days behind schedule just so you guys know. All right. So I love you guys. Stay dope. Enjoy the rest of your Monday and I'll see you guys on the channel on, if not tomorrow, Wednesday. Bye guys.